Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs! Today we got my daughter Paris with me. Say hi. Hi. We're going to be installing the new Ring Home Security Kit. So, yeah. uh, we're in a new rental over here and uh, we don't have an alarm. So we want to get an alarm system and we want to put it in. I have a couple Ring doorbell cameras already, so I wanted to add the uh, home security kit, the Ring Home Security Kit, to our repertoire of other products. So, um, I hear good things about this, so let's get it unboxed and set up. I went with the version, it was $250, I think it's for uh, two to three bedrooms, um, but they dropped their price $50, so I got it for $200 off Amazon, so that was uh, really cool. So, I just wanna get this thing installed, so let's get it unboxed, set up, and I'll let you guys know how I honestly feel about the product. Say stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, so before we get it unboxed, I just want to let you know what it comes with in the box, which is, uh, let's see, one base station, one keypad, four contact sensors, one motion detector, one range, in, uh, range extender, and a security sticker. Sweet. I don't think I need the, um, the range extender because I already have one from one of the other ring products so we'll see if I need it or not we'll see plus the sound is so small I may not need it I got a pretty good Wi-Fi so the box looks pretty cool there's like a, a seal at the bottom here my battery's running low I hope it doesn't die so I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit I should have charged it all right so always home we got that at the top Probably all of our manuals and all the other goodies, stickers and stuff. Sweet, pretty good sticker. Let's see if we need to post that. Any stuff there. All right. So, yes. Ooh wee. I think this is the base station. It looks like there's a speaker there, so this is probably going to be. Um, Looks like it's the speaker. Oh, exactly what I wanted to see the back. All right, so we got an ethernet jack and a USB port. Um, I may wire this in. Uh, it looks like it has a wireless as well. Um, you got the pairing button, your Wi-Fi signal, and probably a charging signal and a reset button. If I can get this wired into my switch, I will, just depending on where I put it. We'll see. The base station looks pretty good. I like the feel. I don't know what you are. And this will be our keypad. Really sleek design. Nice and small. You can has mounting brackets on the back, so I can mount it. I like it. I like it. Very another really simple. There's no Ethernet port on this, so this obviously will connect automatically through uh, Wi-Fi uh, to the other place uh, to the other parts. And I don't see a battery. I'll check later whether or not. Um, how do you charge this? There's probably some kind of batteries. We'll deal with that later. Let's see what else is in here. Accessories. Oh, sweet. Look at that. All right, so let me make sure you guys can see. All right, so we have the range extender, motion detector, uh, keypad adapter, contact sensor, contact sensor, contact sensor, and power supply. So we'll get these things opened up right now and take a look at what they do individually and then we'll bust out the manual and start with step one. Okay, let's go through the last remaining things that we have in the box. We have a little ethernet uh, cable that popped out there. We have a power adapter, really good. Kind of looks like an Apple one. Range extender. Oh, this may be a little bit different than the one I have. So maybe we do use it. Sweet, just a little uh, basic range extender there. Let's see, these contact sensors. One, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna open up one for now. Just lift up on this tab. Looks like it's two pieces. And if 
Feels like it's got some kind of magnet on it as well. All right, so you, uh, it just has a little sticky piece that you just peel off and you can just use these for um, a door or windows, whatever you want. I'll use them for uh, my doors. Let's check the motion detector. Now I wish this came with one more motion detector, but it's fine. Two would be great. But there we have it there. Nice sleek motion detector. You can put this wherever you'd like. And same thing, it has little stickies, and it looks like you can also put screws in there. I'm not sh completely sure, but uh, once again, we'll read the manual and uh, see about that. And last but not least, a keypad adapter. Let's see what this is. This is just an adapter for the keypad. Oh, that's probably what's gonna give us power for our keypad. Now, I wanna know, I wanted to know if the keypad took batteries, I'm not sure, but at least we know that um, we could plug this in and have constant power, which is probably a lot better. Okay, that's it for now. Let's get working on the manual. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is the base station here. You just gonna wanna find a way, uh, find somewhere, I'm sorry, where you're gonna place this. I want mine connected via ethernet. You don't have to do that, but I do. I just want something just in case Wi-Fi goes down that I know the base station's always gonna be connected and somewhere where you have a power connection. So for me, it's going to be near my front TV because that's where my wireless router is. Now I got this, uh, this Linksys uh, Velup um, uh, Wi-Fi mesh um, router and I really like it. Um, at the very bottom of it, it has just one port and I can connect the switch uh, to it if I, if I want to. I just don't need it. Everything, everything that I have is Wi-Fi. So that extra orange wire there is going to nothing. And so pretty much I'm just gonna place the base station right here like so. Let me grab the, actually it's the, the yellow wire. I'll need a little longer one, but the yellow ethernet cable. here and just make sure we got it. perfect all right so the yellow ethernet cable will just click right into the back like so and then I'll get the power installed so I'll get the power the ethernet then when that's done you're gonna go onto your app um, I already have the ring app and I'm not gonna go through that process but you're just gonna add this device in and make sure it's connected and that will be the first step so I'm just gonna get the power going here we're gonna get this thing on and connected and I'll let you know when this is connected I'll show you the lights and make sure it's good and then one by one we'll start adding all the accessories get it wired in so it looks nice and neat and it'll be able to lay flat I'm not gonna mount mine up um, it's just one thing I didn't like I mean I it makes sense but uh, you can mount it like this which is cool but the only problem with it is the Ethernet cable is gonna come out the top if you do and it'll look kind of ugly I wish the Ethernet cable port was on the other end and it can come out the bottom like so but you know I'm just being a little picky all right now that that's done you can just connect your ethernet cable like this, just like so. Actually, I'm gonna run, now that I think about it, my power's not gonna come that direction because I'm not mounted. It's just gonna come right out of the back like so. And then I'll run the wires right through the back of my TV. So just to get you guys, uh, just to show you what it's gonna look like. You'll see the base station with the wires coming out. I'll organize those. And this thing will sit back there and you're not even gonna notice anything. And then, because it has ethernet, it's always gonna be connected to the internet as long as my, uh, you know, as long as my internet's up. 
and then I'll be comfortable with the base station. And then everything else will be wireless and it'll be pretty good. All right, so let's get this thing powered on and uh, let's get it set up. Okay, now that we have the base station set up and connected to the internet, it's actually got a yellow spinning light in the middle with a blue glow. That lets you know that it's updating firmware. So you wanna just let that uh, take place. Just wanna see you have both green lights on there, so we're good to go. We're just gonna wait for that to finish, probably reboot itself, and then we should get a blue spinning light, um, and then we'll be ready to move on to the setup phase, which is on the mobile device, and uh, that'll do off camera. And so I'll be right back when that's complete and we'll move on to installing the accessories. Okay, next we're going to install the contact sensor. What you want to do is just go to uh, where you connect your devices on your ring. Open up the side there and there's a little number. And you're going to match the number up with the one you see here, which is mine is 15932. And then you just pull the tab. Oops, let me just click that. Just like so. Then you should see that section there start to turn and this will start to flash green. Perfect. All right, now we can just tap to finish it up. Continue. We're gonna put uh, that that's in the main door and in the kitchen and garage door and continue and make sure your area is nice and clean and you keep them uh, no more than an inch apart so I'll show you where I'm gonna put it up right now okay and here's the one I did yesterday as you can see my door has a little angle and it's okay it's completely okay if it's not completely flush and it works perfectly fine. But I'm gonna do the garage door the exact same way. Okay, so here's the sliding glass door. I mounted the uh, magnet sideways or just uh, in a different direction and everything still works great. So you can see it closes. And you can open it. You still get the noise. So that's good, it works perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be flush. So um, I really like that about the rig. All right, let's move on. Okay, now we're gonna install the motion sensor here. So I'm just getting it out of the box and you're gonna do the same thing. Just pull the tab and go to your app and just uh, select uh, uh, the motion sensor. So I'm just pulling the tab there, which releases the battery. And I really like this feature here. And then just go to your app, which I did off camera. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just install it. Now with anything you're doing, I like to grab uh, alcohol wipes first and clean the surface of anywhere that I'm going to be putting anything. Please do this. Um, uh, first clean the surface and then use an alcohol wipe to wipe it up. It just gets rid of any dust and debris that may cause the unit to fall over time. And that's the last thing you want to happen is uh, your unit to fall and potentially break. So after this is nice and clean, I'm just going to remove the tape off of uh, the motion detector and then just place it. There's four pieces of tape, so you can use these on flat walls or cornered walls. I'm going to be sticking mine in the corner right here. And I think two out of the four tapes will be used on a corner tab. I just removed all four pieces of tape. But um, after I stuck it in place, it was really secure. I don't even think this thing will come down unless I want it to come down. So just kind of eyeball it before you press it down. So I kind of got it where I want it there. As you can see, you have the gap there underneath, which is fine. And the right and left stickies are right in place. And it feels really strong. And I'm just kind of pressing it down for about three seconds at a time just making sure all right and it's all done all right let's get the range extender set up so I am gonna use this I thought it was the same one that I used for um, one of the other ring setups and it's not this is some kind of z-wave technology thing um, so we're just gonna plug this right over here let me move the camera up I'm just gonna put it right into my 
outlet here and this is in between my front door and the screen and I'm actually let's do it like this okay then I'll just go same thing every time you uh, do uh, one of these contact sensors um, or motion detectors you just go to the app and you do it one by one and then you finish the setup and after it's done then you move on just one at a time it does take a while but once it's set up it is good to go and at least you know that everything works individually all right next thing we're going to do is mount the plastic mount mounting bracket that slides the keypad on that keeps it uh, mounted right there on the wall so i want mine here it's about the best place i'm going to find for it so you just slide the bracket right off and just put it evenly exactly where you want to. We're just gonna mark it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I kinda like, actually I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. And just like so, and then make sure it's nice and even, and then just mark your holes where you want it. Like so, just use a... And you can always move this later. Once again, just make sure even as it can be. And you have uh, regular plastic screws. You can drill in straight if you want to, or you can use, uh, this is what I use. I drill holes with a uh, drill and just place these plastic inserts in, and then you're gonna drill in the screws afterwards, which uh, it's a lot better if you do it that way. It's a, a lot more secure. So now that we've got our mounting plate in and everything looks straight, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to drill one hole first and then make sure your plastic insert goes in so you don't end up drilling three holes that are too big. All right, easy peasy. Let's make sure the insert actually fits. May need to do a bigger hole, may need to do a smaller hole. This looks pretty good. I like it, perfect. So, all right, now we can continue with the other ones. Just make sure it's nice and even. Perfect. Same thing. Just making sure these line up still, and they do. Perfect. All right, last one. All right, all three look good. Now, just gonna swap out for a Phillips head bit. Just drop the torque down and just make sure the bracket's the way we want it, which it is. And then there comes with three black screws. We're just gonna put those in now. Okay. And I won't go all the way in. Just yet. Because I want that thing to be able to slide down. And last screw. too far and let me bring you back perfect now that it's nice everything slid down I'm just making sure this torques really low I want to strip this screw you should use a regular screwdriver with this I'm just experienced with the drill because uh, it looks pretty good it almost looks a little crooked but we'll see just slide it in place I like it perfect now, we'll just get the wire connected on the back. I'm gonna have it plugged in right over here to the left. Now, what I'm gonna do for some cable management, I'm gonna run the cable uh, at the bottom here and then just along the side here at the bottom using like some white um, wire harnesses to slide back through here and then right up. And then there's extra cables, so I'm gonna have to find a way to 
kind of use cable ties to keep it as neat as possible. But I'm going to use uh, white plastic wire holders along the white wall. It should look pretty good. Okay, so here's the keypad, uh, the wiring. I got to do it a little bit better. I'm just uh, just for the sake of the video. It does go underneath the cabinet, and then I'm pretty much just gonna plug it in right there. As soon as I plug it in, this should be the last thing we have to do. So I'll go to the app and then uh, see what else we got. So what I'm gonna do right now is just reach over, plug it in. Wrong way on the USB. Okay, so here we go. There's the ring, it's starting to make no noises, but it's lighting up. So I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute, and then I'll swing over to the app to see what it wants me to do. Pretty sure i got to set my password and figure some other things out. And then once that's done, we'll do a little test, and I'll press the buttons and see how it works. And then I think we are finally done. Okay, so we're at the very final step here, which is the keypad setup. So i got the phone here. We're just going to hit Finish Setup. Let's set up your keypad. Continue. I promise I'll blank out the area. So, are my keypads in the kitchen? Uh, we'll just do entryway keypad as the name. It wants you to name it. You can always chat it up later. Now we're gonna, uh, let's set up your keypad. Uh, place your keypad in a convenient spot. You can place it. We did that already. Choose your access code. Okay, access codes are used to arm and disarm your system. You'll be able to create a code for each person who uses your alarm system. For now, let's create one for you and get started. Okay, so this is the four digit address code I'm gonna put right here. I'll blank this part out. Let me pause the video and I'll come right back. All right, password's been entered. Let's just hit continue. Has been created, you'll need to use your access code to arm and disarm the keypad. We recommend that you give everyone in your home the unique password. Tap add shared user. We're just gonna hit continue for now. All right, our keypad is ready to go. Okay, you got LED settings, cool. Power save mode, awesome. So I think we are ready to try and arm and disarm it. So I'm just gonna zoom in on the keypad a little bit more. Okay, there we go. There we go. So there is where it detects you. After it detects you, it gives you time to shut the alarm off. Okay, so we have disarmed the app. Okay, so I was wrong. After it detected me, it gave me an additional 10 to 20 seconds or so to try and uh, disarm the alarm. After that, then it signals, and this thing is loud. So it works really, really good. Um, I'm quite pleased. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. This was a very long video, but we have the motion detector right up there in place. Sorry about the blur. Uh, we have a little sensor there for the sliding door. And we got one up there for the main door. We got the little Z-Wave uh, range extender right down there. And one for the back door right up there. Hopefully you can see. Once again, very small house. This should be perfect for us. And uh, so far I'm very pleased. I may do a follow up video months from now to see how everything's working. But for now, I think we're pretty good. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ring. This is a, a great uh, alternative to some of the other services like ADT. And I'm pretty happy. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.